Hey guys, Mastamino here. Today, I showed you guys this deck earlier, but instead of Fire Spirits and Ice Spirit, it was Ice Golem and Minions, but I switched it up with, with these two Spirits. Now, Spirits are strong with this deck, guys. This deck is really strong. It got me to 3800. Last video, I was at 3600, I believe, but look at this. Look at this. Just one. One fail there, but uh, show you guys what what the power deck is. The power basically huge contrast. I mean, did this guy? I really thought he was gonna win, you know. And my friend was watching me, so I get extremely nervous. That's why I don't. That's why I don't do battles while I'm recording because I get really nervous because I know that you guys are watching. So he splits archers and um, usually I don't do anything about split archers unless they... Here's what I do. If they play something on either side, I defend that side. So here he plays on Hog Rider, Ice Spirit, placed on Tombstone over there. And I placed on Fire Spirits to tank up for that Ice Spirit. And that archer is still alive for some reason. So... The key to winning with it is saving your elixir. You gotta save it more efficiently. Now he made a mistake here. He placed on the elite barbarians in front of the ice comb, so therefore the ice comb won't tank and that push. So my elite barbarians will take out both of those archers. So it's all good. Um, elixir wizard is strong in this deck, guys. It's really strong. So. I just wait. I just save my elixir and wait. I I normally sit at ten elixir, but um, this time I decide to push to see what he has against my hog rider. Looks like just a mega minion, so I don't need to zap that. So we're in the lead. I place on tombstone because I knew he was gonna place that hog rider. Place on elite barbarian to defend against that hog rider. He zaps. Hog guys would get two shots, no three shots. Doesn't matter. Mega Minion is going to get there and do some good work. I freeze it and it doesn't do that much work, but the archers do a lot of work, bringing my tower down to 1131. Now, we're no longer in the lead, but anyway, it's a level 11, so what can you do? So, I believe I started to push with the Electro Wizard, but I just waited because I knew he had a better Elixir trade, so that meant that he was going to push. Because he had 10 elixir by the time I got 10 elixir. So I placed on Electro Wizard to counter whatever he sends on me. I thought he was going to place on the early Barbarians with that, but he didn't. He fireballs, misses my early Barbarians, and I have a big push here. Hog Rider, Fire Spirit, and Ice Spirit. Good combo. He, he, he only knows how to stop my E-Barbs, but not my Hog Rider. My Hog Rider's going to get some good shots. It looks like he's winning right now, but we're going to put that... Electro Wizard, Tombstone right there, that's a perfect placement if you're in this much trouble. Fire Spirits to clean up the mess. He sends in a hog rider. I saved my elixir for um E Barbs, but if I was playing a long time ago, I would place down the Irish Spirit and just panic, but this time I didn't. I just saved my elixir for six elixir for Elite Barbarians. And here's the part when what I want. That the last e bar got the last two shots to win the game, and we just and we just won. So this deck is really powerful if you have the Electro Wizard. It's really strong. Um, hopefully, I get to four thousand. Um, I'm, I think I'm gonna drop really low right after. Um, um, when when this chest opens up tomorrow, I really think I'm going to drop so much because it's going to be in the morning. I usually lose in the morning, so hope you guys enjoyed that video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Bye, YouTube.